met you. Uh, why I don't you? Met me. I guess maybe you just forgot. Okay. Well, I don't remember meeting you. You kind of, you know, weren't a memorable fellow. I, 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 it is fair that you get a chance to respond. Yeah, well, let, let me speak. I mean, I'm used to speaking. I, I'm an entertainer. You know that. So, I want to make this very abundantly clear. Um, I do a radio show, and I am actually an entertainer. Okay. We do two things on our broadcast. We do political speech, which is protected by the First Amendment, and we do shock comedy. Okay, so what you're looking at right here is basically like a Marilyn Manson or somebody from the Jerky Boys, something like that, okay? And that's why I'm here tonight. This is about free speech, which is under assault in this country. And I, I, I recall Ren said something about far right. I'm not a member of any formal far right organization. Um, this is a constitutional issue. This is about what we have a right to say in this country. And I will legally fight it if it comes down to that. And I'm not the first person who's done this. I mean, Howard Stern has done some similar things. So that is what we're talking about tonight. And I've been called a neo-Nazi and a racist and all this other stuff. There's no proof that I'm a neo-Nazi. There's been a smear campaign against me by the Huffington Post, which is basically just a, uh, a corporate mouthpiece for anti-fascist action, which is a far-left terrorist organization, that's happened. I've been smeared by the far-left media, the media that d did not care when your hospital shut down. Did the media report on Pioneer Community Hospital going under? Do you think they actually care about you? The media in this country is an enemy of the people, and they do not care about your community. This, this community didn't even make news until they found out that somebody was running a, an edgy radio show that a lot of people find very entertaining. Then suddenly we're in the spotlight. Now why is that? Explain to me why that is. Do you think anybody in the media actually cares about you? They care about their latest witch hunt because they know it's going to sell some advertising. They know that they can make some money off of that and the political climate is favorable to this kind of stuff. Every news source has reported on me, slurring me with like this stuff about he's a neo-Nazi, he's a white supremacist. What do they say about our president? They say the same stuff. Okay, these are liars. These are liars, and I'm the victim of this kind of smear attack, this witch hunt, and enough is enough. Now, do you have any questions? Do you want me to clarify anything? Yeah, I do have a lot of questions for you. I'm going to read some of what was in the Huffington Post, Amen. and I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. All right. Is this wrong? Is there something factually incorrect? Your show is called The Daily Show Up, a popular neo-Nazi podcast. On the show, you regularly tell stories about being an EMT, often referring to your patients by racial slurs and comparing black patients to animals. Is that not a true statement? Okay, let me clarify that. That's a fictional character. None of those stories and nothing in there in any way represents reality. It's all made up. But it's made up in your mind. No, it's made up. It's Where's it made up? It, it's, a, it's a segment, and you can tell by the music, the sound effects, and the fact it's used as a commercial break. We also have another segment called the Merchant Minute, which also features very edgy shock comedy, and that is also very clearly made up. I don't find anything entertaining, comedy, or, but or funny about it. It doesn't matter what you find entertaining. Yes, it the does. Audience thinks yes, it's it funny. does. No, it doesn't. This does My matter. My audience thinks it's funny. Okay? Did you say the heat brings out the wild and the dindu, where dindu is a racial slur for black people? Sure. Did you say that? Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh, wow. Did you say yeah, as I'm winter sorry. approaches, as winter approaches, you, hey, I got the floor, buddy. Go ahead, get mad. Dude. As winter approaches, the animals go into hibernation and the ridiculousness of the 911 calls goes down. Right now, people are laughing right now at this somewhere. Yeah, I don't see them. You will. I've got a much bigger audience than you. I ran rescue around here for over 10 years. I took it very seriously. Everyone that I ran rescue squad with was a compassionate, caring human being. Some of the best people I ever ran with, you have sullied, you have sullied that reputation. I have never mistreated a patient in my entire career. I made that abundant. Make, Nab, did you not say that you referenced an apartment complex, which I understand is Cedar Square, 
that houses people from all over Africa and West Africa. Did you say that? He said emergency workers called it Ebola Alley. Did you say that? That's not Did a Did you say yeah. that you then called a black woman a Dedwisha and compared her to a shade Harambi, which was a gorilla, a famous gorilla, which I treated as a patient. And let me tell you, that gorilla had a sense of who she was. And a sense of dignity, I may also add. It's hard to find a Gindu vein anyway because they're black. Did you say that? Yeah, it's in my show. Do you know how many black veins I have hit personally in my career? Many. They are not any more difficult how to find than white veins. How many cats? I was, I was in rescue and I worked in East Africa in medical research. I hit a lot of veins. Did you get attacked by any alligators? You weren't there. Yes. I've been attacked by alligators. I've been charged by elephants. And I've put up with a lot so, so worse now, than now you. Now that you've clarified that that's a comedy routine and that it's a That there was sketch, an unruly what, what, what young African American male child running around in, the, in the, your, uh, whatever you my, call my, it, my Dr. Narcan, yeah. terrorized that youngster with a needle and stabbed him in the arm using an improper needle size. Did you say that? Did you make that up? Do you think that's funny? I think it's funny. I don't. My audience thinks And to even have a thought they, they like that. They don't think you're funny, though. They don't think you're funny at to all. To even have a thought like that is repugnant. Sure you're talking about torturing children who are in your care. It's free speech, buddy. It's free speech. It is free speech. You're, you're not, in the back, you're not in the back. You're Not in the back of an ambulance. Not where you are placed in charge. Yeah. Not where you when, have when the ability duty, to actually torture well, people like this. Place. You shouldn't torture children. Amen. I've never. You tortured shouldn't a child. think about torturing children. Amen. I've done comedy routines. This which, is not which, comedy. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry that you don't think that's comedy, but my no, audience. No, this is comedy. racism. This is unadulterated well, we racism and it's Nazism. Yeah, yeah you do. I'm but not, not a Nazi. Not, not, in not in the Nazi. back, not in the back of an ambulance. Well, and if you're not a Nazi, you certainly subscribe to many of their views. Why, why don't you not dictate to me what my views are? You can start there. Well, I'm trying to find out if you have any. Well, so you're going to read through what, what a tough post right smear piece says to find out about my views. I mean, you can tune into my show anytime. You can tune in any. We, we air Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Feel free to tune in. Uh, the right stuff biz. Check it out. I just I, don't. Maybe think you maybe be, you don't have a sense of humor. I don't so think you, you should like be it. in the back of an angel. Oh, shut up! I've got. I'm a professional. That's it. That's it. That's right. Heard you. your comments. Sir. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you that I ran rescue for all those years with a lot of people. No, I've got to tell this. Never yeah, once did I hear anybody say, I saved the life. The system saves the life, not you. And the system doesn't need you. Please do. What, what, what you've done is you, you, you glorified this guy.